A verified Mortal Kombat 1 insider slash leaker has come forward with some alarming information regarding Combat Pack 3, but before we get there, let's take a step back. MK1 launched on September 14th, 2023, and the reviews were pretty good. It currently holds a score of 83 for critic reviews on Metacritic, while the user score maintains a respectable 7 out of 10. However, it's no secret that MK1 has been mired in controversy. Most complaints from the vocal majority said that the game was not a complete package. Just to name a few of the issues raised, some said that the Invasions mode lost its luster pretty fast, the Nintendo Switch version had all kinds of graphical issues, the PC version basically didn't work and suffered from severe performance issues, and microtransactions have once again reared their ugly head. Overall, many believed a blatant lack of content and the presence of paid DLC seemed to overshadow all the positives about Mortal Kombat 1. Although it's unpopular to say, I enjoy MK1 both as a viewer and a player. The cameo system is fun, the roster is decent, some reimagined characters are definite improvements, and I enjoyed the story mode. As a player, I can both enjoy the game and not support overpriced fatalities as the two are not mutually exclusive. Amidst all the negativity surrounding MK1, Netherrealm and WB moved forward, releasing four main characters and three cameo characters promised in Combat Pack 1 at the time of making this video. With the Combat Pack 2 announcement imminent, it's unclear what we should expect outside of a few characters from the MK universe and beyond. I won't go into that this time because I don't want to spoil anything for any of you, but regardless, KP2 is for sure happening based on everything leaked so far, but as for what's beyond, that's very much up in the air. A well-known and verified source who goes by the name of Fate Unknown on Reddit has recently confirmed some curious yet alarming information. Now this individual has a solid track record with reliable sources, confirming things like General Shao's appearance in MK1. Reiko's weapon selection, and even Peacemaker's delayed release. After going dark on Reddit, Fate Unknown resurfaced on April 14th. In a response posted on the Mortal Kombat Leaks subreddit, the insider confirmed that Ermac will have multiple masks covering his face and head. Later, in the same thread, Fate Unknown responded to a post questioning whether the development of additional DLC beyond Combat Pack 2 is underway. In response, the insider stated, and I quote, most likely not happening at this point with the state WB is in. Now, whether that means the development is not happening or discussions are not happening is unclear. To date, nothing about Combat Pack 3 has leaked, and given Fate Unknown's track record, it's safe to say that this is an accurate report. As for the reference to the state of WB, the insider is likely referring to the lack of success for this game and this game. It's been widely publicized that this live service game has underperformed from every conceivable angle. Although the financials have not been made public, the game has not met expectations, and its failure had, quote, set up the company's games business for a tough year-on-year -year comparison. So how does this affect Mortal Kombat 1? I couldn't find any updated sales for MK1 since November 2023, which put it at 3 million copies sold but it seems like the game is always on sale. In January, you could get the game for $34.99 on Steam, rather than the $70 most people paid, or even more depending on the edition. This is all to say that we have no real grasp on how MK1 is doing financially. Does that mean anything beyond Combat Pack 2 is out of the question? Not necessarily, but if Fate Unknown's report is accurate, the fact that plans have not been worked out for future DLC is cause for concern. Some have taken this as an opportunity to roast Netherrealm further, but this is not on NRS. They can only do what Warner Brothers allows them to do, so if they decide not to pursue MK1 content beyond Combat Pack 2, that's on them. Still, it's disheartening to hear that Netherrealm had plans to carry on with 3-4 to four years of content, and now that's in severe danger. It's challenging to see where Mortal Kombat 1 goes from here. Based on the current cycle of character announcements and releases, there are plans for content through the end of 2025 as I see it. However, anything beyond that remains a mystery. WB has not been shy about shutting things down that they don't believe in, such as the unrealized Batgirl film and Coyote vs. Acme, which may not come to fruition. 
I don't think it's all doom and gloom just yet though. There's still time to develop more content and fulfill Ed Boon's affirmation that support for titles beyond MK11 will be much better. As we know, MK11 support ended July 2nd, 2021, meaning it only received two years of support. However, with a new film yet to be released, I'm holding out hope that MK1 still has a bright future. There's certainly lots of negative sentiment surrounding MK1, but the game has improved since launch, even if it took some time. We now have crossplay, some classic costumes, and changes to broken characters, so that's something positive at least. Don't get me wrong, I'm right there with anyone who says microtransactions represent everything that's wrong with gaming nowadays, especially considering MK9 gave us 7 alternate costumes and 3 fatalities for $5, but that's just a sign of the times. If Combat Pack 3 doesn't happen, that would potentially mean that characters like Sonya, Fujin, Cabal, Kentaro, Scarlet, and many more may sit MK1 out entirely while Madame Bo, Hydro, and other potentially obscure cameos would suffer the same fate. However, it would align with the usual life cycle of an NRS game, so it shouldn't come as a complete surprise. I want to see Mortal Kombat 1 thrive because I love the series, I enjoy the gameplay, the cameo system, and the characters, but this report paints a grim picture of what could be on the horizon. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think we will see a Combat Pack 3? Let me know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe for more content.